I had to Google 101 ways to cook in a hotel room with only a kettle, right? Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. We had just separated and as a family, we had promised the kids to go to something called the Gold Coast, which is in Australia. It's a bit like movie world, it's a fun ride. So the kids were little and I thought, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? It's the first Christmas separated and I had promised, we had promised to take them away. And I decided, no, I'm gonna take them. I put it on credit card, I packed up the kids, we flew to the Gold Coast, we went, the kids had a great time. The first day that we arrived at movie world, one of these guys did a caricature of me and he said to me, you know what, you're Superwoman. I'm going to draw you as Superwoman. And I looked at that throughout my whole divorce. I was inspired by it every time I felt down, every time I felt that things weren't quite going my way, things weren't happening, I looked at this. We went, we did that holiday. Now I can tell you, I had to Google 101 ways to cook in a hotel room with only a kettle, right? No microwave, just a kettle. It's amazing. Yeah, we lived on noodles. We lived on baked beans and macaroni and cheese and eggs. There are a number of things you can do in a hotel room using a kettle. And the kids were fine. They were great. And we didn't need to pay all the expensive breakfasts and all of that. So this story was also about having a lack of income, coming from a family unit where we're all supported, we have income coming in, the food is on the table, we're doing okay, to all of a sudden, well, I can't pay for things. I can't pay for the holiday. I can't pay for the Christmas holiday that we had promised the children. So have a think about your income. Where does it come from? And I'd like you to do some homework. I would like you to work out what is your income right now? Where are you at right now? Number two, I want you to look at where can income come from? Where can you get sources of income from? Can you have a granny flat? Can you take in an international student? Can you cook and sell stuff? Can you work a couple of retail jobs, which is what I did? Can you go and deliver the paper, which is what I did as well? Can you rent out your car? Can you Uber drive? What are the things that you can do to bring in more income? Because you never know. Going through a divorce, it's complex, it's difficult, you're going to need some help. And number three, I want you to think about where do you want to be? Where do you want your income to be after this? There is a brighter side. You can get through the other side. What do you want it to look like? Do you visualize? Can you write it down? Can you have a look at some goals? Do you obviously want to be able to put food on the table for yourself, for your children? Do you want them to go to college? Do you want to be able to pay for certain things for them or for yourself? That's important. So that's your homework, okay? Now, if you go to our website, divorcetv.tv, you can have a look at some of the downloadables. You can have a look at some of the templates. There's lots of things there to help you. There's I'm Lisa Dixon. Thanks for joining us today on divorcetv.tv. And don't forget to do your homework. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you're always the first to see my videos. See you soon.